simple boy and with regard to his accounts, his social media accounts being seized and him being asked to pay for ransom in order for him to get the accounts back. And this story is one of those where um, one of his former managers was very quick to say that he will give back control and, of the, and access of the accounts to Simple Simple Boy if he's paid, I think it was 150,000 Kenya shillings or there something there about. Now, it seems that he's been losing access to his accounts because of the many managers that he's had over the years. And up until this point, he hasn't seemed to be in control of anything. And honestly, even with this statement being released, I'm not too sure that he's in control because it doesn't sound anything like him. So obviously, he went online and he said this. He said, as an artist who cherishes the unwavering support of Kenyan media and our beloved citizens, I, Steve Simple Boy, wish to uh, express my deepest gratitude amidst these recent challenges. My steadfast encouragement has been the cornerstone of my journey. And it is with humility that I extend my sincerest thanks. He continued to actually say that because of the issues that he's been having with management, he's decided to embark on a new phase, which he says, I am thrilled to share our reviewed vision and plan of the future. He said that he is officially and effective, he said effective immediately, the platforms that he will be using are the ones that he was showing off on his social media. And he said he will not be using any other accounts. So he asked for Kenyans and netizens to actually follow him on these accounts and to continue to support him and his musical career. And I feel like the whole quote just sounded very much uh, like someone else was speaking for him, like a spokesperson for him, because I've never seen Civil Simple Boy speak in this way and with these kinds of... Um, you know, extenses of, 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 of language. So I don't know whether someone else is still managing him. I still don't understand what Civil Simple Boy's situation is, but it seems he keeps having people coming in and out of his door, taking advantage of him and leaving him uh, high and dry, and then another revolving door and another revolving door. And I think Nyotandogo's advice was the best advice anyone could have given him. One, get an education, learn how to do your own things, accounting, speaking, and all of these other things. And once you learn how to read and write, it becomes easier for you to manage yourself simply because you're in the driver's seat and I think this is his biggest issue so I'm still yet to see whether he accepted uh, Nyotandogo's offer to take him to school honestly at this point I don't know all I know is he said he's changed his accounts yet again but what's going to stop another manager from taking uh, seize of these accounts and this information absolutely nothing Moving